Yeah. Yeah, we're on TV. Woo. Again, your daily hour with me. It's Cody. Hi. I'm Cody. What happens here on the show? We turn on the machine and then we start talking. And we'll be talking here for about an hour. We're starting it up right now. Today is uh Thursday? Yes. Thursday, right? Thursday. It was supposed to be uh Son of Figzilla was scheduled for today. But the other two members had prior engagements apparently. Yeah. Well I called you, I only the, you're the only one that I've been calling, so maybe that's why. Well, I I asked both of them about it and unfortunately they had Did they forget? Urgent matters. Did they, they did they didn't even know that they were scheduled? Did they forget? Yeah, I, I guess possibly. Uh, well, Kevin had class until eight, and JP was just swamped completely. Cause it's it's the end of the school year, right? Yep. I just had my final class at Evergreen today. For so graduating? Yeah, I'm graduating. Congratulations! Well, Congratulations! You. Yeah. Are you gonna go to the the ceremony? Yes, I am. You gonna I'm gonna be walking. You gonna wear your diaper? No, I think I'm gonna. Leave my diaper at home for that one. Yeah, that would ru might ruin your college degree. Yeah, I don't think a graduation picture of me in a diaper would impress many uh, <laughs> potential employers. Yeah. Did Did you guys do your I'm festival? Was that Did that already happen? Or is that still in the future? Uh, no, that's uh, it starts tomorrow actually. Oh wow. S tomorrow at noon is when everything gets going, and. Uh, where is it on Alaska? And, uh, it goes until Sunday. Yep, on Alaska, Washington. I saw some people getting ready for that. I think they're going camping out there or something. Yep, uh, it's three day festival, so camping Friday and Saturday night. Angie's coming with me. Is it in the woods? Uh, kind of. It's a semi wooded area. Hmm. Are you guys? Are you guys are you the generator? Yeah. Whoa. So well, I, I think they got some pretty powerful generators. Yeah, because they got two two stages. We're on the second stage where the live act, all the live acts are. And their main stage is in this giant like thirty foot dome. Whoa, a yeah. dome! Yeah. Is acoustic in there? For something? I don't know. I think they put sand down too, so it's like. Whoa, sand dome. Yeah, the sand dome. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Kevin, the drummer in Son of Fakezilla, is uh. Doing security at the stage, uh, except with the exception of our show. So there's not going to be any security. No security. So if you want to come to Moss Soul and freak out at one of the, one of the shows, the Sun of Exile is You want to beat up the band? Because who are they securing? They only secure yeah, the well, band. I mean, we'll fight back, but yeah. you know, <laughs> he, can, he can take some. Well, the security, he, has, he can still be the security just from the drums. Yeah. He'll have to get extra sticks and. Well, yeah, then, then he'll be armed. Yeah. <laughs> what is he? Is he armed otherwise? Or just has a shirt? Is nah, he just, or something? just has a staff shirt and just like looks intimidating. And He's yeah. got to get a club or a gun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be I'll, probably bad. I'll be working at the gate quite a bit too, so probably going to be just sitting around drunk selling tickets. <laughs> Sounds like a good time there. Hey, yeah. what did you eat for dinner yesterday? When we were talking to you on the phone... He said, bye, I got to go to eat dinner. I was trying to say, what'd you eat for dinner? Oh, and it, then it cut, it cut you off, yeah. but... Um, I, wrote it, I wrote it down on the calendar because I was last thing you said here. So I, wrote, what? Uh, I had pancakes. <laughs> you were cooking pancakes for dinner? Yeah. Breakfast for dinner is the best, man. Did you eat breakfast for dinner or just pancakes? Just pancakes. <laughs> that's yeah. kind of, I mean, that kind of breakfast, that's just like pancakes for dinner. Yeah, pancakes. I don't know if pancakes are specific to breakfast. I think yeah. they are, but... I mean, they are they are specific to breakfast, but you uh, you can't just call pancakes by themselves. That's just like a regular food. Yeah, that's true. Breakfast for dinner is like a. I also had a salad and some pork and beans later on. I, I'm I'm living on poor people's food. Canned food, box yeah, food, yeah, stuff from the the food bank. Oh yeah. Mainly. So is that those are the box box pancakes? Yep. Hungry Jack. You have syrup. Yeah. And some syrup around, like some like grade B maple syrup. Stuff is more nutritional than grade A maple syrup, just for future reference. What for is? Who's, who's wondering. Other grades? Yeah, grade B of uh, maple it's more syrup. It's more nutritional? Yes, it is. Apparently. Is it because it, ha it has other stuff in it, extra stuff in it? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm not exactly sure how that works, just my roommate was telling me. 
That's weird. Yeah. It seems like the grade A, yeah, the grade A stuff would be the better stuff for you. That's what it would yeah. make more sense. I think, uh, I don't know if, like, quality necessarily is why they call it grade A or grade B. It's just, like, like how it's extracted or something. Huh. All right, well, you, should we call your bandmates since they didn't show up, or they're going to be at in class? Uh, yeah, let's, well, let's call JP. We'll call them and, yeah, tell them that they're not here. I guess they know. One second. Did you guys sell your tickets already for that event, for your, uh, festival? Uh, it's not completely sold out. But you guys, but did, you, did you guys sell a good amount of them? Yeah, I think there's, uh, quite a few tickets sold. Uh, already and we're gonna be selling them at the door so and I know there's gonna be plenty of people who are just gonna show up uh, at the door and all right do their thing so JP's number is here you want to say it on yeah let's put it in here let me see or you can put it type it in call him JP which one's JP is he the, the glasses one or the other the drummer he's the glass glasses guy He's the gross one. Well, he... I think you guys called him the gross one. I was just... Well, not... Well, you guys... You guys were... Maybe, I mean... I think it was just kind of jokes and stuff, but... I think, you know, at the bottom of all jokes, there's got to be some kind of truth in there. Yeah, if we were in the boy band, he would be the gross one. Yeah. Since he doesn't shower that much. Yeah, you guys were saying that... You were saying he doesn't shower and that he's got... Uh, uh, like, shit pants or something. Oh, uh, he's like, this one time we ran out of new diapers and like <laughs> we were just about to have a show and so we were just going to reuse some old ones because we don't actually like go in them, but JP's JP, diaper is message, disgusting. At the tone, you guys don't wear underwear under the diapers or not? No. When you yeah. So his actually was bad then. Or press one big for fat options. streak. Yeah. <laughs> hey JP, we're talking about your streaks. Yeah, you buy your streaks on, on your daily hour. So. You can call us back? Yeah, give us a call back so you can describe them in more detail for us. Yeah, about. Even, even though I've seen them firsthand. Probably about 50 minutes. Okay. Well, how do you, how do you know which diapers were which? Like, you saved them and then. Yeah, we, well, we uh, generally write, like, name brands and their logos mm. on them. And uh, we determine that, like, which one was JP's by the. Logo. Okay. Yeah, that's why he said. See, that's like a, a how rumors work. Is you tell, you tell me something, and then I tell her something, and then she says it back to you, and then it just kind of amplifies, you know, because you yeah. said these things that kind of made him seem like he was the gross one, and then I said he was the gross one. And you told it back to you, and then like people are saying you're the gross one, but it was actually you guys that were saying it was the yeah. gross one. So, <laughs> so it's not yeah, a, like not a very big circle, but sometimes that kind of thing happens, you know. So yeah, I don't think he would be too bothered by being called the gross one. Yeah. <laughs> he's the he, gross he one. He generally recognizes that he's the gross one. And I think, I mean, you guys are, the whole band has kind of got a raunchy uh, yeah. theme, I would say. So being the gross We're one of that band is is something, right? He, yeah, he's the, the hygienically gross one. I'm, I'm just kind of like the, the morally and literary gross one. Yeah, that's the good, that's... Mind and that's mind gross. That's fine. That's not. Yeah, that's uh, I'm mind gross. And I'm that's not, not like necessarily gross. gross. That's objectionably gross. I think physically gross is something you can kind of measure with streaks uh, and stuff. So. Yeah, I guess Kevin would be kind of like the balance between the two, maybe. Even though he's like not the really clean one. That physically gross. He could be the clean one. Yeah, he can. He could be the the clean one, I suppose. Mr. Clean. He's not even that. Oh wait, maybe maybe he's the. Uh, he's the. The like substance dirty one. <laughs> yeah, you should just call, call him gross. Just call him Mr. Clean. Yeah, Mr. Clean. That's, that'd be funny if he's Mr. Uh, Clean. I'm gonna shave off all his hair when he's sleeping him <laughs> or something. Well, he's like, hey, Mr. Clean. He seems to pass out a lot, so you might get the chance to do that. That's what he said talking about last yeah. week. Or <laughs> I remember this one time. He uh, he passed on the uh, out on the floor in his room, and he had this like rug below. Him. So, like, he was just, like, trying to, like, wrap himself up in the rug to, like, use it as a blanket. And so he kind of just turned into this, like, human burrito. Well. <laughs> <in a rug. laughs> hey, it's time for the dice game. 
All right, I got a number. We're doing double dice for June. June is double dice month, so now we're rolling two dices. Here, I'll roll. I'll roll first here. You have your, you have your number already? Yeah. Oh, viewers, go find a pen and write this number down in your hand. You guys maybe already have a pen ready. Here it goes. Five and six. Ah, uh, damn it. I lost also. I have a two. I have a two, two. Oh, no. We will I, have I wrote down two because both of the shows, the other shows we did, Kevin won with two three different times in Whoa. the last game. We have double the chance of winning now. Yes. But uh, I, we both have two, so we're both either going to win or both lose. There's no competition today. We're on the same team. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that happens. People tell me, you should... Uh, tell people the numbers so that you don't do the same numbers but I kind of like doing the same numbers because that's an, an extra level of s surprise or uh well you feel the spirit yeah I, I'm just reading what it, it says here those are some real bible quotes it says Kenny you are not you are not what you are not yours or something like that you've been you, you have been bought is that what it says own you want Brought at a price? You were bought at a price, yeah. Something like that. It means, whatever it is, is. Oh, same. you are not your own. You were bought at a price. Brought at a price, yeah. But it's because I was telling them that I don't want to go to church. And then they're like, you can't not do, you can't just not go to church. You don't even have your own free will. That's what they're trying to tell me by that quote, I think. So they were just saying you have to go to church because Jesus. Because you're not your own. So, so it's kind of like Jesus is the thought police, and he, he makes you go to church. Yeah, because it's pretty much tomorrow. pretty much they're trying to scare me into going to church, and it was pretty freaky. But they're gonna come back. They're coming back tomorrow, though. But they're nice people. You know, they're just they're trying to stop me from going to hell, Wait, which is kind of rude, say? I think, though. Yeah, that is kind of rude. Hell seems more interesting to me, anyways. Let's see, don't be afraid. Just believe. That's for Lewis, because Lewis was freaked out and. See, that for Lewis, he seemed afraid. That's why. <laughs> That's because I heard it was because, like, he was scared of the Christian girls. Yeah, they chased him down the street with that picture. Christianity. Yeah. Well, they, they were they were bugging him. But yeah, uh, I heard they're really attracted to him or something. Yeah, they, they like him. <laughs> they think he's cute. And one of them really wants to talk to them, but he doesn't want to talk to her. And it's some drama. Ooh. Yeah. Well, you can. Are the lights flickering? You can see yeah. that? Can you see that? Can you see that, viewers? It's kind of freaky. I don't know why it's doing that. I feel like I'm not. Horror. <laughs> <It's> hor yeah. <laughs> Something horrifying is happening. <laughs> There's ghosts in this here garage. Yeah, I don't know what is with that. Here, let's call Friday the producer. Yeah. Let's see how he's doing today. Or the deuce. That's what we He's the deuce. That's for producer. The deuce. The deucer. Big deuce. That's like that. Do you ever use the D20 for the dice game? No. We had a very little chance of winning. Maybe we could. We could do that extra, but. Yeah, special dice game. <laughs> what the? Something's gone wrong with the phone system. That was not. Right, right. Oh, what the? So when was the last time you got me on here? Was it in. in, in May? Yeah, sometime in May. May 23rd. Do you see anything on the streets since then? Uh, nothing in particular. Did you hear that the church, the Westboro Baptist Church came to town? Yeah, I did hear about that. They were here yesterday, and apparently this morning they went to the high school. Ooh. To OHS. But I guess there was a lot more counter-protesters than there were. Yeah, I, I saw some pictures of the counter-protesters. A lot of people. It kind of makes it a bigger deal because there's only a couple, a couple actual protesters. So like four, I heard there's only like four or five, but then a hundred people show up and it's a big deal. So if nobody showed up, it wouldn't even be a big deal. Yeah. Hello. Hey, you've reached Freddie Dover. Oh. I can't come to the phone right now, but if oh. you leave me a nice. We have a voicemail from Freddie, so we're we're playing phone tag here. Playing some phone. T Whoa, <laughs> ants. All right, well, here, let's try to call Freddy again. Because we're, we're playing some phone tag there. He was trying to call us, I think. Playing some phone tag. Did you 
Did you see your episode on the on the internet there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The last one? Uh, actually, I uh, know I saw the first one on the internet. I haven't seen the right. last one. Oh, hey, Freddy. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm driving. I'm driving to Seattle. Oh yeah, we didn't. Uh, I didn't listen to your message yet. Oh. Cool. Yeah, I actually am just stopping to get some gas, maybe get a bite to eat somewhere uh, just after Tacoma. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're on. It's we're here with uh, Cody from Figzilla, but the rest of the band's not. Or son of Figzilla, the rest of the band's not here. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, How's it going, Cody? Going pretty well. How are you doing today? I'm good. It's a nice to have you on the couch uh, as often as you come to the couch. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have got new shows coming up? Uh, well, we got Soul this weekend. Uh, starting tomorrow. The festival. Around noon. Yeah, it's a festival. Oh, that's then, a festival tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow in, a, in on Alaska, Washington. Uh, like, like 128 Shady Grove Road or something like that. Yeah, it, all the directions are on, um... Facebook, so you can just look up. Is it a farm? Yeah, I'll check it out. I'm sorry, what was that? Is, that, is it I a farm? Oh, he said he's gonna check it out. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think it, it will all either be under just like Moss Soul Arts Festival or Moss Soul like Olympia Music and Arts Festival. You, you gonna be back for tomorrow? Yeah, um, definitely. I this is a little day trip, so I'm going up there. Uh, and then I'll be back at 4, 4 o'clock to be on the show tomorrow. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, it should be pretty fun. I'm so, in terms of production news, I kind of have fallen a little bit behind on the, on the YouTube. Just got to get, I think uh, I got to get today's, yesterday's and the day before up on YouTube. Uh, but I am doing a big batch export, so it should be all taken care of, uh, you know, tomorrow. Oh, that sounds good. Which uh, which gas station are you at? Uh, I went to Chevron. But is it it's expensive? What, what what city is it? Uh, I don't even know. It's like uh, it's like north of Tacoma. Maybe like Kent or uh, Fife or yeah, Fife. Federal Way or something. There we go. Maybe Fife. Wait, what did you say? Kent or Fife or Federal Way, maybe? I bet it's Fife. I don't think I'm quite to Federal Way. Oh, it is Fife. I just, I looked over uh, and there's a, a restaurant called Johnny's at Fife. Huh. So I think, uh, yeah, I must be in Fife. What are they? I don't, I don't know if I've ever been to there. The I might gas, have stopped by. The gas costs $4.30 a gallon. Is that, where, mm. is that where Freddy's Casino is? In Fife? It's where the uh, yeah, I think there's a casino queen, around here somewhere. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's across the, Emerald it's across the freeway queen, from me right now. Uh, you can see the Emerald Queen? Oh, I don't know. Probably. That you sounds like, about right. I've heard about that. You like gambling? I like gambling sometimes. You going to go to the casinos. I, I went to Nevada with Peter on our trip, and then we, uh, I gambled. Uh, we gambled a couple dollars, and then we lost it. We lost it all, so... Um, I stopped. I couldn't do it anymore. I lost all my money. Oh. Well, that's it too bad. It's fun, though, I guess. It's just very confusing. Modern modern casinos are just all computer games, and I feel like maybe it'd be easier for them to cheat us with computers than with, you know, mechanical stuff. Yeah, I think so. You can, well, you can yep, choose, yep. you can choose to play only the mechanical games if you want. I, maybe I guess the one that I went to just didn't have any mechanical games, so I didn't find I couldn't find them. Well, I mean, there's like black or card games or uh, dice games or oh, I roulette. Do. I like video poker. Yeah. Do you play that on the computer? Or what's a video poker? Yeah, like at the uh, bars like, and stuff. Yeah, well, at the casinos, like the the gambling video poker. Also, uh, blackjack is fun. Yeah. And craps. I don't yeah. really know how to play craps. I don't craps. really have an entirely full grasp on craps, craps though. Here's a, here's a break. First break. Dance, oh, okay. holy dance. Bye-bye.
Up dance. Bye bye. Dance. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. All of our time. Immersed in the internet. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. Only when you're ready. 22, 22 on TV and watch my cookie. One, two, three. First thing. <laughs> Let's go. Dad. Yeah, welcome back. That was the commercial break, yeah. Did you miss us? Even though this is taped. <laughs> they might, they can, yeah, miss you on from TV. Here's a, here's a message. Freddie left us a message right before. I don't know what he's going to say. He's probably going to say something about how we're trying to call him. Yeah. This is the phone tag message he left. Hey, it's Freddie. I'm calling back. I'm on the road. So, uh, yep. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, yeah, Casino. He was in Fife. They have all those like MMA and like really old school musicians that play casinos. Yeah. I want to see. Have you seen MMA? I've never seen that. Or boxing? I've never gone to a live MMA thing. I've never seen it. Yeah, I've seen it on TV. Yeah. I saw this. this, There's this one time I saw this dude, dude do this really cool thing where he like kicks off of the cage, like the side of the cage with his leg and then use the same leg to just like do a roundhouse kick into Whoa. this guy's face it was like the coolest thing I had ever seen on M- MMA and then everything after that it was just like man this is boring you saw I wish like pe- more people would just like roundhouse kick each other in the face yeah <laughs> seems like most of it to me seems like it turns into submission holds which I don't really yeah. find that the wrestling stuff is pretty boring yeah that's kind of grab grabbing yeah but I want to see those fights. I think they have a lot of karate gyms around here, but I don't know if they actually do because, like, fights and karate gyms. Like, you can't go to a karate gym and just see a fight. No, they just do, like, their, their like, tournaments and demonstrations and stuff. They might have, like, as well be a dance. It might as well be a dance studio. Pretty much. they're not going to fight each other. What's the difference? Just martial arts dancing. You only see the real, real karate fights on the streets. Yeah. And people are getting mugged and stuff, and they know karate, and then they're just like, "Whoa!" Yeah, because there's, yeah, there's a lot of karate places, but I don't, I don't think they're actually people are they're not fighting each other in there. Yeah, I think they're just kind of like learning how to fight and then sparring each other, which is kind of like they're fighting, except they're wearing pads and they go e- easy on each they other. Go easy, yeah. All right, well here let's let's call. Uh, we have a lot of people that are scheduled for tomorrow. Ashley and Alex are supposed to be here. So we could tell all of them. About. About what's happening tomorrow. They're going to show up. It's the. the Ashley and Alex. One of them brought the, the picture. And Sadie are going to be here tomorrow. And Freddie. No. I told Alex to. Spe- oh, hello, hello, Ashley? Hi. Hey, uh, so I'm calling. We're on the show. We're on TV right now. Cool. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. We're here with Cody. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good How are you, how are you doing? What's going to happen every time? Um, tomorrow <laughs> at 4 o'clock, uh, we're doing the show here, and Alex is going to be here, and Freddie's going to be here, too. Oh, uh, Alex is coming tomorrow? Yep. And Freddie. All right. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, I will be there. At four. At four. Yeah, I told Alex to bring me something specific. I told her to get me a 
picture of bloody Jesus instead of regular Jesus. Yeah. And I told her to get it blessed by the uh, reverend with wine. So I think she. Oh yeah, church is tonight. That's her, oh, church is tonight. We'll make sure she gets that Jesus picture super blessed. I want, I want yeah, it like. I don't think they bless things with wine, do they? Just I, water. I want them to do it. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm making a specific request to do uh, wine. I want a wine blessing. Tell her to get some holy water too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll throw it on Lewis <laughs> when he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> don't throw it on me. We I can bless the couch. Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want some uh, like powerful. Jesus stuff from the church until it get <laughs> he's gonna get they're gonna get it all uh, pumped up with the spirit are you gonna speak in tongues yeah I think so I saw you on the show last night and you're speaking in tongues I feel I just felt Does the spirit you whoa, now? Whoa, 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 Oh man, that was a Ooh. spirit. Spirit's pro- powerful tonight, Jesus. That sounds like a massacre. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was the, it was the spirit. That's was, was being intense about the spirit. Alright, well, hey, thanks, Hatch. We'll see you tomorrow. Alright, bye. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> spirit. That was the spirit. Yeah, the spirit. Alright, so it's, that's Ashley's gonna be here tomorrow, and Alex. And Freddy, so that'll be exciting. That's tomorrow. It's a uh, flag day today for the viewers. Flag day. So I don't know what we're supposed to do on flag day. Is that all flags? It was like, is that an, the Ameri- an American holiday? I don't know. If it is, then I kind of want to burn a flag. Yeah. I wonder if it's Texas v. Johnson. It's not illegal. It's uh, free speech. That's part of American speech. free speech. I think it's uh, even patriotic to burn the flag because it's showing your yeah, free speech. Yeah, exactly. It shows that that you're that you're exercising your constitutional rights. Yeah, you can't burn flags in other countries. Nope. Maybe. Because they ain't Merc. Yeah. But I wonder if it's Flag Day, if that's a uh, an American holiday or not. I think we should call Zizang. I think it it might just be all all flags. I think we should call Zizang in. Uh, California, I mean in uh, Canada. Zizang. His name is Zizang, and I think that's his internet name or something. Oh. But he's in uh. Up there in. It's an interesting name. Up there in uh, what's it called? Uh. Canada land. Canada, yeah, he's in Canada. That's what I was saying. British Columbia, maybe. He's in he's in Canada. I wonder if I can find his. I gotta find it. Oh, I gotta find his phone number. I think I have it on the internet. I don't know if I can look at the internet numbers on this thing to call Zizang. I might be able to though. We're gonna try to call him. Uh, yeah, he's in Canada, so it's Flag Day. <laughs> Maybe other flags too, because Washington has a flag and cities. I don't know if the city. Yeah, cities have flags. All this stuff. So I don't know what we're supposed to do on Flag Day. Cause what is that? what is Flag Day? Is that like the Fourth of July? We already have the Fourth of July. Well, I think it's it might be about all flags. I don't know. Uh, maybe it was the day that the flag was created or something. I don't know how they'd know exactly. It seems like that would be a continual process. Maybe it was just the day that they like accepted the flag or something. The American flag. Or it's just a day for all flags. In which case, I'd want to burn a bunch of flags instead of just the American one. They are selling a lot of flag stuff at stores right now, and I thought it was maybe a little early for, uh... For the 4th of July. Yeah, for the 4th of July stuff. But it seems like it's happening anyway. Well, if I don't burn a flag today, I'll burn it on the 4th of July. Yeah, well, it's today. Oh. It's today for the viewers and not for us. So you have a week to get flags together if you want to burn some flags. 
Yeah. Uh, it's a. Uh, oh. You know, one thing they used to do at Evergreen, which they don't do as much now, is burn flags. Did you see yeah. them people do that? Well, there's like pictures of people with like Gulf War protests in the 90s just like burning flags and stuff. I think it's kind of lost its uh, effect. You know, like nobody cares. Yeah. Like, oh, you burn a flag, oh, big deal. But if you try to burn a Koran, then you're in deep shit. Well, not at, probably not at Evergreen. Well, I mean, just in the U.S. in general. Yeah. And then they're, they're like, there's going to be some like fascist Muslims who will, will want to go after you. But yeah. I'm sure there's a plenty of Muslims who are just like, whatever, go ahead. Well, then they're <laughs> not very good Muslims, I guess. Or well, maybe, no, maybe I, they're not real. It, who, who says that, though? They could be better Muslims. They just don't want to, like, be violent against people. They might be offended, but they're not. Oh, yeah, they could like, just be offended and not violent. You know, like, not, like, want to cheer, cheer. Yep. Showing the gra- graven images. That's what I, th- I was thinking about this Jesus picture. I think it's... Kind of disrespectful. Should we, should we burn the Jesus picture? For flag day? For flag day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, zero, seven, five, seven, five, <laughs> eight, eight, two, oh. one. Can't take your call now. What? They can't take my call now? Is that the right number? <laughs> we gotta find out. We're trying to call Zizang to ask him about the flag day in Canada, but he's not answering. I'll try it one more time. That was the Canadian flag day? Yeah, well, I don't know. We're finding out if it's international or not. Number nine zero seven uh, five uh, seven five. Uh, oh, oh, boxing day. Two two one. Can't take your call. Yeah, they, they do have Boxing Day. That's a Canadian thing. Yeah. Mostly. They uh. It's I after they, cri- after Christmas. They, yeah, I think they eat a lot of food, which is awesome because that's like my favorite type of holiday. Whatever holidays you eat a lot of food on. I think I wrote this down. This thing wrote down wrong, so we can write it. We will. This will be able to work. We're gonna, I'm trying to call again. I'm trying to get this number to work. Yeah. Let's get that guy on the phone. Zizang. You ever been to Canada? Oh, play, uh, yeah, I have a couple times. Oh, we gotta roll the dice. Oh no! You wanna roll the dice? Yeah. Come on two. Come on two. We both have twos, yeah. Uh, four oh. and six. Four and six. We lost again. Gotta get that wah, wah. yellow one in there. Yeah, I always call Zizang on holidays and ask him if the holidays are the same in Canada as they are in the U.S. Some of them are the same. Some of them are different. Zang. Oh, the phone's is ringing forever. Sometimes maybe they don't have voicemail in Canada. Whoa. I'm playing some mood music for Zizang. They're not, uh, they're not answering machines. The voicemail in Canada. Maybe it's a Skype number. Skype numbers ring forever. I think you have to sign up for like a voicemail service. Answer your phone, Zizang. What's going on? I'll leave a voicemail. Well, I don't know why they didn't answer. Who else knows about Canada? Oh, uh, we should call John Webster, probably. John Webster might have gone to the hospital. I'm not sure if he went to the hospital or not. Why do we go to the hospital? Maybe go to the hospital. I, uh, I'm i not sure, but he might have had a heart attack. Ooh. But his message was unclear. Like, maybe somebody else had a heart attack, or maybe he had a heart attack. He's, he's kind of hard to understand sometimes. 
so I, like, was his message just like, hey, how's it going, Kenny? <laughs> it, it was like, hey, we're all in the hospital, oh, oh, a heart attack, oh, oh, kind of. So, so something like that. So that's what, like maybe he had a heart attack, or something he knew was a heart attack, or, or maybe he was watching a heart attack episode of, on the ho- TV. Oh, Gavin, the question you can't get to the phone right now. Please leave your name and number. And okay. tr- that was John's cell phone. Let's try to call John home. John's home phone. Maybe he'll answer his home phone. Got to call him next. I'm gonna find a number here. It's this one. This needs a better. Uh oh. I gotta write. All, I'm writing all these things down. We're gonna run out of space to write. You can start writing it on VHS cases. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't have to write anymore because of the, the future of the writing and stuff. But for some reason, I can't copy. Copy and paste of the device here. I'm trying to do that, but to make the phone calls, trying to call John Webster next. The device is interfering with the program. I'm gonna call his home phone. Yeah, I want to get like a regular phone, maybe like a like just a, a dumb phone as opposed to a smartphone. Yeah, but, or like a like an analog phone. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm gonna like get a, a wired one. Yeah, like it's not even like a uh, cell phone. Some phone. Is available to take your call. Uh-oh. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey John, it's the program. Uh, hopefully, uh, did you go to the hospital? You can call us back. I want to know about that stuff. Okay, bye. I wonder if you got out of the hospital or if you had to go to the hospital. I still want to try to call Zizang. I'm, I'm unsatisfied that the phone kept just ringing for some reason. So yeah. maybe it was just taking a long time to reach Canada. Maybe Canadians just have an aversion to answering their phones. Well, you usually answer. So I'm trying to think back to like elementary school on Flag Day. Did we do something? Because that's what when you do all the holidays and when you learn about all this stuff. Like I don't remember. Maybe it's a new thing. I'm gonna find out if they ever answer. Oh, here's Ashley's thing. We should probably keep that. She's coming back tomorrow. She needs a, a name tag thing. She, she made her name tag herself last time she was here and it's kind of ripped up a bit. Oh no. Why didn't you protect your name tag, Jesus? Uh, yeah, Zizang's still not answering. I don't know what's going on. We're never find out about Flag Day in Canada. Who's, who's Toasty, the cartoon character she came up with? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's called Dan Bennett. He's from Canada, <laughs> but he's not in Canada now. He lives in Olympia now, but we're going to ask him about mm-hmm. Flag Day. Yeah. Because these things are answering. We have to find out about Canada or Canada there. Canada. Canada. Yeah. yeah. You ever been there? I've been to Vancouver. Yeah, I've been to Vancouver and Victoria and... Other places. You have to have a passport to go in there now, so mm-hmm. I don't go in there. Bush here, my darling. We Hey, Dan, it's the program. Are you home right now? He screams his phone calls. Yeah. So we gotta do this. Say, hey, hey, hey. Nope. It's probably not there. Oh. Uh, Dan, we want to know about Canadian Flag Day. Do they have it? Yeah. Today, this very day. All right, that was uh. That's Dan. Probably about to get the next commercial break, I think. Yeah, it's coming up pretty soon here. We're going to watch it. We're going to change uh, background tapes pretty soon. It's the end of the season. It comes. It's the end of spring. So we're going to be doing a new background tape soon. A summer one. Oh, cool. So, oh. Who's calling us back? Somebody. Oh, is it? Oh, I think it was Zizang. Was it Zizang? Somebody. What the? Mm-mm. Here it goes. Now it's loading. Now something's gone wrong. With the oh, come on, load. Who was that caller? I think we're going to get into this commercial break. Oh, no. Was it Dan? I'm not sure who called this. We'll have to figure it out. Well, the commercial no, break's happening here. Commercial break time. I'm 
blah and the blah and the blah. You gotta blah and the blah and the blah and the blah. A message from the future. John oh, Webster. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. We're finishing out the show. Maybe. It's the commercial. So tomorrow. Oh. It's Alex. It's Eddie and Frey. We're all here on the show. Oh. Hey, we're on TV. It's the commercial. <laughs> Sorry, we're filming the commercial, Yay, commercial. right now. Yay, commercials. Uh, we're on at 11.30 every single night. You could turn on the show and you could watch us at 11.30. So call the number. The number is 330-536-3802. Oh, we got a new picture, but we're not going to show it to you yet. Yo. You'll get to see it on the episode. Oh, you got a new picture? Yo. Uh, look at that. I broke this pen. See, check this out. It was, it was working before, but now it's a big hole. And it's supposed to be a clicker. I was clicking the pen. I was playing with the pen. Click, 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 and then it's like fell out. Now it's a hole instead of a thing. Stupid, stupid pen. I don't even know where the thing went. That's what you get for buying, or not even buying free pens. It's getting free pens from the radio station. It's a Mix 96 pen. Mix 96 makes crappy pens, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I think Zia's is trying to call us back, so I don't know. We're going to keep listening to this thing ring, but uh. That penny is moldy, a little bit moldy. Oh, that's a pen. The pen. The pen's moldy? The, the penny's penny, moldy? The penny is moldy. It's got that, that weird, that copper green stuff on it. It's gonna poison. Oh, it's just the copper oxidizing or whatever. Yeah. Is that, is that poison though? I think it might be poison. I don't think it's poisonous. Huh. I thought Zizan called us back, but maybe, maybe not still. Somebody tried to call us back. I heard the ringing. I don't know what was going on with that. We'll start calling some McDonald's, see how McDonald's are doing today. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold Jesus close to me. Let, let him feel let my him love. love. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> From my atheistic heart. Here we go, we're gonna call. <laughs> yeah. uh, huh. Wyoming? What, what state you wanna call? Uh, yeah, Wyoming sounds good. Wyoming? Yeah, that's a really weird looking de Jesus. I think it's a, yeah, I don't know, it might be the dollar store one, it's a cheaper one, cheaper model. I've just never seen Jesus portrayed like that. I'm waiting to get, yeah, my bloody Jesus tomorrow. He looks more like a, a movie star in that picture. His hair looks all feathered. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is a lot of product. Yeah, Jesus slanging that product. Oh. Hey, McDonald's? Yes, it is. Hi, do you guys have those Arctic Orange milkshakes yet? No, we don't. Uh, do you know if you're going to get them pretty soon? Mm, no, I don't. You, you don't know or they're not going to get them? I don't think we're going to get them. I think that was a mistake. But that's as far as I know. It so was a mistake? I'm sorry? Wait, what did you just say? I mistake. said they have them on the menu, uh -huh. but we don't actually have them yet, and I haven't heard anything about them. Oh, uh, but they have them on the menu, like on your menus, on the on the on the sign there. Yeah, but we don't have them. Oh, but you think that they're, maybe they're gonna come in soon? Is that you don't think that's a chance? You gotta have like a calendar that says when the food's coming in or something like that. Nope. Oh. Uh. Yeah, cause I think maybe I saw I saw while I was driving, I saw a sign or something, and so I'm just waiting for those milkshakes though, but. I think they're supposed to they're supposed to be here in the summer. I remember they came last summer. Oh. What about the shamrock okay. shakes? <laughs> you want the shamrock? I need a Yeah. <laughs> shamrock shakes are in uh yeah, March. St. Patty's Day. So, some of the places Alabama <sighs> I called Alabama yesterday and they have the orange milkshakes. So they're 
not very uh they're making their rounds yeah they're coming around but oh, that's pretty bad that they have the sign i didn't realize they were I think they would have it on the sign i remember yeah i don't like seems like if you're gonna advertise something you should actually have it yeah put it on the menu <laughs> can i get this thing off the menu no we don't have it what's <laughs> on the menu yeah. here we, we don't have anything on the menu you have to order from memory last time things that aren't on the menu. yeah <laughs> I mean, when I went there, and they had those they had those strawberry pies, and I said they said, "You want to try a strawberry pie?" And I said, "Okay." And then they didn't have any. <laughs> so they <laughs> so they asked you if you wanted to have one, and they didn't have any. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I kind of want to try the like barbecue Arby's sandwich that just came out. What is it? Barbecue sauce on roast beef called, called like the RBQ. What's yeah, basically. What's on it? It's just barbecue sauce in the roast. Because they already have they already have that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'd Whenever they get these specials. I've been to Arby's in a really long time. Yeah, me either. Whenever they get the the uh, the special stuff, it's just stuff that they already have, just shaped differently usually, you know. Yeah, with barbecue sauce. On yeah, but they already had barbecue sauce there, but they're like, no, it's got barbecue sauce. We put now we put it directly yeah. on the. Yeah. Then you can put horsey sauce and barbecue sauce on the same. Because you, you got the barbecue sauce pretty good, but, and it comes in those packets. I used to do that anyway, but yeah, now they yeah. just do it for you. Oh, they're yeah, like so now, now there's, there's like, a, you just get more horsey sauce Hi, instead of getting both. I'm here, and but they're like, there. Leave a message. Now, chicken and roast beef. Like, they already have the chicken <laughs> thing, sort of like curly fry sandwich. Hey, Alex, it's the program. Uh... You can call us back. We have about 20 minutes on the show. You're supposed to be here tomorrow at 4 o'clock with the blessed, wine blessed Jesus, bloody Jesus picture. Blessed with wine by the pastor. Okay, thanks. So, hopefully, she better, I want to see those wine stains and feel the, feel the, uh, blessedness of this picture when she brings it in tomorrow. I wonder, I wonder if they have any Jesus's, uh, throwing up gang signs. Yeah, <laughs> they have yeah they have the Jesus Jesus is my homeboy. Have you seen the T-shirt, the, the Jesus heroin picture? Like where, where there's this dude about to like, shoot up heroin, and Jesus like has his arm stuck out like with the needle. Oh, because right, every time you shoot up heroin, you're shooting Jesus up with heroin. Yeah, yeah basically. And like, and somebody put like a caption on it. It was just like, "Fuck off, Jesus! This is my heroin." <laughs> Magic. <laughs> well, you could do if Jesus could do heroin all the time and he was already this magic dead guy. That seems like a yeah. It seems good like deal. he could make himself feel like he did heroin. Yeah. As opposed to actually doing it. Same with like any drug. It seems like he could just be like, oh, I'm on crystal meth now because I'm Jesus. I don't have to actually smoke crystal meth. I'm just Jesus. So. Yeah. That sounds like a good time. Yeah. No, I wish I was Jesus. Yeah, and then you could then I could just like keep turning water into wine all day. I'm just like. At work, really bored. It's just like, ah, oh, I don't want to drink water. And then just like, fine. Yeah. And then Here. just get wasted. Like, go up to a water fountain and do it to so everybody who goes to the water fountain. Yeah. <laughs> Gets a surprise. This is Casper. Casper, Wyoming here. You guys should come back at the end of June when you're, uh, after you do your, uh, your show. Tell us about how your show went. Maybe yeah. in two weeks. You saw McDonald's, I maybe help you today. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those orange milkshakes yet? Um, let me ask real quick. Okay. Come on, Thursday on the 21st. Uh, I'll have to run that by my bandmates, possibly. We'll put there tentatively and then you can ask him about yeah, it. Yeah, tentatively. I'll give you a call back. We have the Arctic orange. Yeah, that's what I was asking about. Alright, then yeah, we have them. Oh, is it? Have you tried it? Is it good this year? Is it what? Oh, you don't even know about it. You probably didn't try it yet. Uh, no. Oh. I actually don't drink the shakes here, so... Oh, really? Why not? Because they're fattening. They're, they're fattening? Oh, maybe I should stop drinking them then. Do you, do you just eat the salads? Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, thank you. All right, Bye. there they go. They're because they're fattening. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're fattening. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's roll. We'll roll. I don't know why she's working at McDonald's if she's worried about For eating money. food. 
So you need some money here. Here, you roll yeah, one. That's true. That's true. I'll roll this one. And oh, I gotta roll the four. Oh, a two. Ooh, yeah. 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 Oh, we won. Finally. <laughs> oh wow. I'm the sixth attempt. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. Six times the charm. Two two times the third time is the charm. <laughs> You ever seen the, your, the acronym for your band? Sovs? <laughs> Son of F... Wait, oh wait, no. F uh, f is Fakezilla one word? Or two yeah, words? Yeah, it's, it's one word. Oh, okay. Because I thought Fakezilla could have been two words and it would be Sovs, but now it's just Sof. Well, it's funny because on the Moss Soul Flyers, they capitalize the Z in yeah. Son of Fakezilla. So, I, I think a lot of people just think it's like... Two words. It seems like it but could be two it, words. It's like Godzilla, though. No. Yeah, Godzilla's one word. word, but why not make it two words? Because it's not... Because fake is its own word, and then Zilla is kind of its own word, just putting them together. Well, God is its own word. Yeah, but... I'm not sure if Zilla is actually a word. Yeah, I, well, I think that's just a made-up thing, but Godzilla's the whole thing. It's kind of like alcoholics, you know, and then they when you're addicted to other things. It's not like when people are like, oh, I'm a chocoholic. They like chocolate. Yeah, but they're not addicted. To ch it's not chocolate hall. This is chocolate, and they're addicted to it. <laughs> so it's like kind of like, like uh, I'm a dickaholic or something. Yeah, there, there, there's nothing. There's no dickahol unless you like pour alcohol yeah. on dick. Yeah, it's like that. So it's like <laughs> Godzilla, and there's other things, you know, like oh, it's Pigzilla or something. There's like a giant pig or something, but it should be just like pig monster or something, you know, because there's shit. Monster it's not pig. Really, yeah, this addiction. You know, so it's like kind of like using the the second half of the word when it's, it doesn't really work out. But that's kind of a thing that happens. Yeah. Maybe they should just make a holic mean that in the dictionary. Just rewrite the dictionary or something. Yeah, I think our uh, our diaper designer Spencer is making a logo for us, and it's gonna be like a plastic Godzilla like action figure with a diaper on. Yeah. And, like, I don't know, there's some other cool stuff that he's gonna... Actually, no, I, I think Zach Barr is making that, as opposed to Spencer. He's our cover artiste, I believe. But Spencer is gonna do our music video when we eventually make that. Alright. Well, we're getting down to it. This is the part where we can relax a little bit and, you know, take the end of the show on, and it's coming yeah, up. Yeah, right, the wave. I wanna know about Flag Day. I guess we didn't find out about, uh, about Flag yeah. Day. No, no conclusions about Flag Day yeah. so far. So it's just gonna be in the air. Maybe, maybe Angie knows. We should just call her. You wanna call Angie, even though she's just yeah. probably inside. Sure, or? Yeah, she's just like over there. All right. Can, like run to go get her, but it's easier to just call. <laughs> we'll call her. She's gonna answer the phone. Right inside there. <laughs> I think she's working on schoolwork, so it's we're probably annoying her. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Angie, it's the program. Hi. Uh, yeah, Cody wanted to call you, but do you know anything about Flag Day? Uh-oh. What? Do you know anything about Flag Day? No. Is that today? Yeah, well, apparently today is <laughs> Flag Day. <laughs> and right. first we were just trying oh. to find out if... Will you tell Freddy I have his lawnmower? Okay. <laughs> also, will you feed the cat while I'm out of town? Feed the cat? Okay, when are you leaving town? Yeah. Tomorrow, Tomorrow morning. morning. I'm going to the festival, so I'll be gone until Sunday. Okay, how much How much food, food does your cat eat? Not that much. Just come inside when you're done with the program, and I can show you. Well, yeah, but we still have a couple minutes. Is your cat just eat one bowl of food of the day? Yes. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah. So happy I'll happy Flag Day. Yeah, thank you. Alright, bye bye. Merry Flag bye. Day. Yeah, that's Flag Day is coming up here. We don't have a flag. Maybe we should get a flag and this yeah. could be our flag. This is a crap is a pretty cool flag. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe we should just be here. It doesn't really make sense as a Your Daily Hour with Me flag, though. Yeah. But it could be one anyway. Use Ashley's name thing as a flag. Yeah, Ashley's name is a flag. The Ashley, like the sovereign nation of Ashley. Or it's like. <laughs> what do they call it, though? They don't call it the. What's the nickname? They don't have a nickname for like it's like not the the Betty Betty or what's a what's a Betty Washington who made the flag? Was it Betty Washington? Uh, Gr uh, Ross, Betty Ross. Yeah, I don't know. Betsy I don't Ross. Know. I thought she was like a musician or something. 
Betsy I Ross. Who fucking made the flag? It, it was some lady. Some lady who decided to like just. Say Wasn't it George? Flag. Was it George Washington's wife? I think it might have been. So with the. It must have been Betsy Washington then, but I, I don't think it's been the name Betsy Ross. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's like a stinger or something. Betsy Ross. All right, well, I don't know. Here it comes. We still have about four minutes left on the show. Somebody else has got to know about Flag Day. Tell yeah, us about Canada somebody, Flag Day. Do you know any Canadians? Tell us about Flag Day. Do you know uh, any? Hmm. None no. Come to mind. No Canadians. Well, we're gonna call anybody else about the flag day. Somebody knows about flag day. We'll call somebody next here. We'll, maybe we call. There's one more McDonald's. I think we have time for one more McDonald's before the show ends here. Should we? Should we ask McDonald's about flag day? No, I'm just gonna keep asking about the milkshakes. Yeah. In Cheyenne. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Cheyenne, Wyoming. Cool. Is your festival uh, at a farmhouse? I think it's on some sort of farm property, maybe. But Do they rent it out like regularly for this kind of thing, or? I don't know. Do you, aren't you putting it together? Uh, my friends are. I'm just volunteering uh, and playing at it. Who's, who's running it? JP? Is that? Yo, it's hmm. McDonald's. Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have orange milkshakes yet? Uh, yeah, we still got them. Oh, great. How much longer are you gonna have those for? You think? I'm sorry? I had to get out there. You think it's going to happen for the next month? Uh, they last usually until the end of summer. So, like, end, end of July? Yeah, should be. Okay, thank you. Okay. Happy Flag Day. Yep. Yep, this pen is not functional anymore. It's all fancy, but on the inside it's crappy. Yeah, but I think, like, basically the only person in our band who would help at all with, like, actually organizing the festival is Kevin. And Drummer? Yeah, and with him it's, even, like, to a pretty small extent. Our buddies Mike, Mike, and Zach are the main people who organize it. How many bands are there? A lot. Uh, probably about... 25 to 30 or something. Oh, like wow. Quite a few. Are they all Olympia bands or they're Seattle? They're all pretty around? much all Olympia bands. Wow. So there, there's a couple Seattle bands, uh, just like Washington bands or like Portland bands. Oh, yeah, there's a couple Dropping Gems artists that are coming. Like Rap Class is going to be there. And, uh, yeah, so... Some Oregon, some Washington, some dir mostly directly Olympian. Rap class. What are some other bands that are playing? Uh, Sunshine and Irony and Camp Wisdom. Uh, Thalo. Uh, Alert. Uh, Just One. Uh, I don't know any of those bands. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of... Uh, Thanks. Show. Thanks, show. Uh, Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, phones. Thanks, Facebook. Thanks, Twitter. Thanks, TCTV or Thurston County. Thanks, Thurston County. Thanks, show. Thanks, dates. Thanks, crew. Thanks. You don't have to do anything if you want. You can if you want, though. Thanks, viewers. Thanks for watching. That's you. You're watching the show. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, USA. Free speech. Yeah. USA. TheBayBay.com. Check it out. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Bye-bye.